And welcome back to the long run where we are playing CrossCode and we are about to find out something about Leah's past through this teleporter and that will take us to somewhere. We're all along for this one other than Sergei. And this might start looking familiar. Is this another secluded location? Does this seem familiar at all? Think about it. Satoshi didn't mention an, an unused location within Sapphire Ridge back then. He must have been talking about this place. Actually, now that we are here, I just remembered something. We need to assign our circuit points. This one. That seems like fun. Uh, these are guard arts, don't really care much about those. Let's see if we can reach our all three melee art here. Sure, that seems neat. I like my melee arts, what can I say? It's a throw art, we're not gonna be able to reach it yet, but that's okay. Unfortunately, this one gets shafted in melee arts. I believe it only has the the one melee art, if I'm not mistaken. It's over here. Yeah. Oh, it has it has two levels. It's just you don't get the options. Let's go with the dash art, I guess. Oh, this is a throw art, never mind. Uh, siphon HP for enemies. And then our neutral tree. Increase elemental resistance. Increase focus. This melee attack. Yes. Now let's go with the elemental resistance as well. Uh, it's fine. We 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 can. We can figure that one out. But I want to show off something. Oh, I don't have the points for it, never mind. I'll need like six points, I think. Does this mean he actually used this place in the end? Just how did he manage to hide it from entertainment? This place seems entirely abandoned. Please do not let this be a dead end. Well, 
Oh, hi. Fancy meeting you here, Shizuka. Hello again. Hi. Still kicking, I see. Did you just forget everything I told you? No, we, we've accepted it this time. Oh, that's just wonderful. So the bot is fully aware of itself and it doesn't even matter anymore. And then you simply escape your prison, re-enter the playground, just strolling around with my memories like they used to use freely. Can somebody please just delete you already? Oh, how I'd love to just rip your head off. But what does it even matter in this cursed si simulation? If only I knew the machine you're running on. I'd gladly crush those circuits myself. Sorry? Don't you dare just sorry me like that! I know exactly why you're here. I plan to see him. And I won't let you. Why? You have no right to see him. You have no right to exist. All you should do is disappear. But since you won't do that... I will fight you. Right here, right now. As long as it takes... Uh, as long as it takes you to give up. So pretty much all that training with... Uh, all that training with uh, Apollo is leading up to this. Well, crap. So is that all the revolutionary AI is capable of? Not my fault if you're that much better. <laughs> yeah, good job, buddy. Who KO'd who there? Okay, it looks like I won that eat. It's kind of fire against ice there, and uh, wasn't really sure who won, but it was me. Pathetic. Dang it. Oh, I only have the level one dash art. Oh, that sucks. Okay, it looks like you won that one. What is even your point? Oh wait, no, did I win that one? Come on now. Why do you keep going, you stupid program?
Just leave us alone already. Five. Was that all? You don't look like you're going to leave, though. Get ready for another beating. But yeah, we just kind of keep going. This is the rest of the game. Obviously. Uh, apparently not. Oh, here we go. Yes. No, it's nothing. How do you know? Fine. You can enter. This way. Waiting inside. Hi. Is, is that it? Really happened. Satoshi, finally, we found you. Leah, you are here. Does that mean? Is he with you as well? Alright, this way please. Make sure you can read the number of this device. It's possible to connect to it using an ID and client. Oh, just make sure to look closely at the number, Leo. Alright, one moment please. Satoshi, I'm so glad to see you again. Same for me. It's been too long. Sergey, is that you? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but before we continue, let me start with a little program. Alright, let's stay close and talk quietly. This, mo this room is being monitored. Having this noise around should uh, having this noise around should suffic sufficiently mess with the protocol. At least for some time. Let's see. Well then, let me get straight to the point. Sergey, you should already know if, you should already know about Ivatars. Is Leah aware of, about herself as well? Yes, she is. Good. So make things much easier. Leah, let me start by saying that you are, in fact, the very first functional Ivatar. Minus few technical issues like your malfunctioning speech module. Why? Wait, so I didn't imagine it? You can talk? Partially. I hardcoded I hard coded a few words into her module. I wasn't even aware that was an option. You always manage to surprise me, Sergei. It's nothing. Please go on. Right. Let me tell you about what happened after Gotham Cheese Guy and I had left entertainment. Despite countless attempts, we failed to convince its incitement to support our research. It was in that hopeless moment that we met a certain person. Mr. Benedict Sidwell. That's the, game. That's the name he gave us at least. We never met him in person and knew very little about him. Yet, he believed in our vision and offered his support. And indeed, with his help, we continued our research on Evotars. 
provided us with everything we needed. Technical equipment, confidential specifications, and most of all, test environment within the playground. We managed to continue our research within Crossworlds. Incitainment never interfered. To this day, I don't know how he, how he did it. Things started within this small area of Sapphire Ridge. However, over, t over time we realized that a larger testing area was required for effective research. And that's how we ended up in Vermilion Wasteland, a discontinued extension to the playground. Mr. Sibel made it ours for research. We called it Utah Ground. The new location wasn't the most appealing, but it certainly helped with our research. It didn't take long for us to reach our first milestone. Our first Iwatar, Leah, was born, derived from Shizuka's avatar. Back then, things were going rather well. We made so much progress, it was exciting. Following prototypes have proven to be almost reach complete. It was at that point that a long lingering question started to emerge. What exactly should we do with these Iwatars? Around that time, Mr. Sidwell made a request for additional features. We wanted to know if we could extract memories from Iwatars, the memories of the original players. Hence, his original intent became clear to us. He made us develop a system to gather intelligence from players of Crossworlds. The method works on any player of Crossworlds. First, we apply custom cross code to the to the target player, overriding the original. Just after a short learning phase, we decouple it again. From then on, the modified crosscode can be run on autonomously. The Evutar is born. In order to fully regain their memory, the Evutar needs to spend some time within the Evutar round. As soon as this is complete, we gather the intelligence. Turns out you can't simply extract their memory, but of course you can interrogate an Iwatar just like any other person. Interrogate them with, with virtually no restraints on the technique. The method worked. We managed to collect highly confidential information in secret without leaving any trace. Of course, once we discovered what kind of business we'd ended up in, we started to protest. We never intended Evotars to be used in that manner. We were ready to drop everything, however. It was too late for that. We broke in several agreements with our ex-employer. With our ex-employer. That's why we've been reluctant to report, to report anything to the authorities. And even when we considered doing that, Mr. Sidwell managed to, black us, to blackmail us into submission. His intention was clear. If any of us tried to leave, our days would be numbered. Well, not that it mattered to me. Do you mean your heart disease? Please do not tell me. I'm sorry. The Satoshi you know died two years ago. Standing in front of you is the Evo Tower of Satoshi. No. I myself created this copy as an offer to Mr. Sidwell so I could continue to serve him. In return, I wanted him to let Shizuka go. I was naive to ever think he'd fulfill his end of the agreement. I cannot believe this. Don't feel sorry, Sergei. Nothing could have been done about my disease anyway. Becoming an evil talker was the only option for me to stay in this world. We need to switch rooms now, otherwise the mask will lose its effect. Follow me. Satoshi. System to extract information from players. This is unbelievable. Kind of breaks the atmosphere, doesn't it? We're not here to have a good time, she's got. So, now you're an evil tar. 
Can you move around freely in playgrounds? No, these days I'm confined within this building. That is also why I know little of what, ha what is happening outside. Are you aware that Leo has been in Yotar ground, Yotar ground again recently? I suspected it from some protocol reason, readings I had access to. I suppose they tried to drag Leo back into it. Yes. And once, once she was there, they could effectively track our connection. They almost managed to locate me. I mean, Sidwell is already fully aware of your actions. This is troublesome. Something else I wonder. How did Leah learn the truth about herself? You don't know? Your little sister paid us a visit. You did? She confronted Leah with the truth. Very abruptly. Not again. You don't see the problem? I merely told her, to tell her the truth. You know, you know full well what consequences your actions could have had. Well, it happened. We can't change it now. I'm glad Leah was strong enough to overcome it this time around. Yes, congratulations, Leah. We are all so very proud of you. She's got. Stop acting like a child. Excuse me. You never stopped acting like a freak. Only care f caring for your dear little AI sister. Enough already! Look, I know you have your issues with Leo, but you need to understand one thing. She's our best chance to get us out of this mess. Both of us. What do you mean? It's thanks to her that we got in contact with Sergei. Not only that, but she's the only one who can reach the Yvatar server. Why is now the first time I hear this? I couldn't share this with you or anyone else. We're all being monstered. We have jeopardized the whole plan. Anyway. With both Sergei's and Leah's help, we might be able to get everyone out of this. You, me, maybe even Gotham. The Yvatar server. It is the host for all Evotars with the exception of Leah. It's located within the playground itself, somewhere inside the dungeon compound of Evotar Ground. Access is highly limited. Only avatars with an embedded access key can enter the area without triggering the self-destruct sequence. Remote administration is disabled entirely with the exception of one command, the deletion of all data. It is Sidwell's final trump card. Server is impossibly hard to reach, and even if we tried, he could wipe its data at any time. It would put an, and it would put an end to almost every Evotar in existence, including myself. Bushy Sky and Gotham, there might be a slim chance to escape this whole mess, but for me, it was close to impossible. However, now that Leah is here, things have changed. Because she has an access key embedded, she can breach the Yuatar server. Come again? Why does Leah have the key out of all people? Because I tricked Sidwell into giving it to her. I faked a malfunction of Leah's Yuatar. I told Sidwell that the best chance to fix it would be to inspect the state of the Yuatar and server side by side, while Leah was still connected. However, I wasn't allowed to access the server. As a compromise, I convinced Sidwell to go to the server together with Leo. He attempted to debug the issue while I provi provided remote support. In order to do that, Leo was given the access key. Despite all the efforts, I told him that the issue could not be fixed. As a final attempt, Leo was relocated to my personal development server, but ultimately I concluded that she was broken for good. I was tasked with deleting her. Instead, I, I secretly snuck her back into official game servers, hidden within a small data corruption of the database. One where I was certain that an old colleague would eventually be tasked with looking into it. Oh yes, the data corruption. What the heck? 
It really did not go easy on me. I had to make sure that not just anyone could fix it. And it worked. Honestly, while well, this was a huge gamble, but here you are. You received my message and found me. And now, we need to figure out how Leah can reach the Iwata server before Sidwell has a chance to wipe his data. And I already have a few ideas I'd like to discuss with you in detail, Sergei. Of course. Let's relocate back to the previous room. From here on out, Sergei will dive into the technical details. You two probably don't want to stick around for that. Maybe spend some time together as well? Talk it out? She can't talk. Come on, you know what I mean. Do I really have to? Please, dear sister. Fine. Alright, what should we do? Honestly, there's nothing interesting to see in this building, and anyway, I hate it in here. Let's just head outside. This whole area is so terribly delimited. No way to move around. Still, there's a little spot at the lake over there. Let's go there. This spot is pretty, pretty nice, isn't it? Certainly better than you find any than anything you find in the wasteland. Let's sit down for a bit. So. What, can, what words can you say exactly? Hi, bye, Mia. How, why? Wait, sorry. That's it. Must be bothersome. Also, still riding those horns. <laughs> so you hate them too. They're the worst, aren't they? That all happened because of stupid joke. I haven't complained that the, the horns don't fit this fairmancer design at all. So of course, one day Sergei gifted them to me. Very funny. And then they'd always log into my account and equip them. Those idiots. And now, you ended up with them. Sorry for that. Why? <laughs> don't ask me, I didn't do it. Well, at least they left you the scar. The scars are badass. I see how I guess we both have the same taste. Makes sense. But you're lucky, you know that? You missed the worst stuff. You didn't have to witness your brother dying in front of you. The futility of the whole situation. It just kept you in that room all the time care of you. Sorry. Shut up! Don't be sorry. Honestly, not if this is your fault. If anything, I should apologize for what I did to you. This whole situation has been going on for so long already. I just don't know what to do anymore. How much longer can I take this Stop that. How can you be like this after all the things I did to you? It's too soon. Getting all touchy like that. It is <laughs> nothing like me. Hi! You two are still at it. I think we're done for the most part. There's one more thing. She's got. How's Gotham doing these days? Well, I didn't speak much with him recently. He's busy designing his levels and flying around in his fancy avatar. Seems content enough. Why are there fireworks outside? 
Whatever. Weird stream lags? Oh. Not really sure what's causing that. Gotham. It might be especially difficult for to get him out of this. We did in fact meet meet him right we did in fact meet him while we were in Ivatar round. From what he, we saw, it looked like he is physically located in the playground. Would that be the case? Yes. Somehow Sidwell convinced him to do that. It is easier to keep him under control that way. And well, Gotham is always, always excited about creating his own rules. Prospect of experiencing it, it, experiencing it in person was quite appealing to him. Really, I think he's a lost cause. He's stuck in his fantasy world, playing his little god figure. That blue avatar with orange clothing? Yes, that's him. That is unexpected. He acts like such a different character. That's the whole point. In any case, you should try to figure out if he's on our side with this or not. She's got to. Can you try talking to, talking to him about this? Just hinting at what is happening? Oh, I can try. Well then, I think I have a good grasp of the situation now. We will need time for preparations though. Certainly. If you have any more questions, you know where to reach me. Yes. I'm glad I was able to meet both of you again. Safe for me. One last thing, though. Yes. Looking at what Sidwell has accomplished so far, I'm sure he has specific ways to track your actions. Because of that, please be extra careful if you plan to involve any other player. I will, and I already have my suspects. Well then, goodbye. See you soon. Goodbye. Take care. Bye! Me too, Leo. <sighs> that was a lot to take in, correct? So, what to do next? Alright, should I head back to the east of Sapphire Ridge? Specifically to that old dojo where I got the meteor shade. According to Satoshi, an entrance to Ivatar ground is hidden in that area. I'd like to have a look at it. You can use that teleporter for a quick connection to the dojo. Okay, we're at the old dojo now. The hidden entrance should be somewhere towards the east. Wait. Wait? I think I found it. It's right here, not well to the east. Let me see if I can open it. There we go. Let's see what we find in there. This is it, Leia. If we go through that tunnel, we will reach Vermilion Wasteland. Lucas, we need to of him. He's hopefully still over there. If we act fast enough, we might still be able to rescue him. Leia! Leia, please stop. Running in there alone and unprepared is destined to fail. Do not worry. I'm pretty positive that we will find a way to reach the Ivatar server. To be honest, I am more concerned about what comes afterwards. Why? Assuming that we reach the, the server and make a backup of all the Ivatars, we still need a proper environment to run them. A new place for Ivatars. In one way or another, we need Instatainment's permission for that. I'm not entirely sure how to tackle this issue yet. Even for an employee like me, it is difficult to reach the right people to talk about to talk to about this. Oh, well, that's certainly damp in the wound. I'm sorry. There really is no point in worrying about this now. We just have to try our best and see what happens. Waiting it out is simply not an option. Let us head back. Oh yes, one last thing. Could you go to the first Scholar HQ? I'd like to try something out. 
Sure. Wonder if there's anyone there. Okay, nobody seems to be here right now. Perfect. Let's have a closer look at the projector in the meeting room. Alright, I have the model number. One moment, please. Hi! It works, and it's very convenient. Satoshi told me how, how to connect to any projector inside the playground. That way I'll be able to talk to other players. This might come in handy pretty soon. Why? Well, it's still too early to get into the details right now. Anyway, shall we call it today? I'll need a bit more time thinking about all of this myself. Bye. Good night, Leo. I wonder how the others are doing. Finn, Buggy, Emily, all of them. They're probably worried about us, right? In difficult times like these, it's good to know that there are people that people out there that care for you. What is happening? Leia, please! Get me out of here! Help! Good morning, Leo. Bit of a nightmare there, isn't it? Leo? Another bad dream? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You want to talk about it? Let's see. Oh, hello, Leo. Hi. We keep running into each other recently, don't we? Actually, this is very convenient since I wanted to speak with you. Why? I just had a quick talk with Lynn. I'll need to take a, a little break from the game soon. It means I won't be around for some time. Why? It's personal stuff. I'd rather not talk about it, sorry. I'll still be around the next few days, though. If there's anything else you'd like to do. As usual, just call me by D-Link. See ya. Bye. Should not forget that we are logged into an MMO. There's still some real life out there, for the others at least. Oh, sorry, I should have worded that differently. Actually, I have good news. The plan to reach the Uatar server is almost complete. We'll still have to storm Vermilion Wasteland together with a lot of other players. You remember how strong some of the enemies were over there, correct? There's still enough time to prepare. You should make sure your stats and equipment level are as high as possible. It might be worthwhile to visit Roma's Square for that. Once you feel ready, let us uh, go back to the hideout and discuss the remaining details with Satoshi and, and Chizuko. Why, well, hello there, Leah. You're here as well? Hi. Leah, dear, it's so good to see you. I just had a talk with Trani. Did he tell you the news already? It's a shame, but that's how it is. In moments like this, real life has to come first. <laughs> Today really isn't the best day, huh? Not only is Trani, uh, is Trani gonna have to leave, but I had to cancel a special ending quest that I was planning to, per to partake in together with Albert. Why? Because he's off meeting his old friend uh, somewhere in Roma Square. I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but uh, why why should I care when he drops our plans so quickly? <laughs> Let's make sure not to tell Buggy about it. I'll be really angry otherwise. So, um... Uh... <laughs> 
This is a hint. This is a big, big hint. And we're not going to deal with that hint just yet. Um, but I will say this. There are two endings to this game. And there is an ending that I have not seen. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and save. But yeah, um, we're not going to continue the story today. Uh, next week, uh, we will be going to Vermilion Wasteland. Oh, I'm going to do the good ending. But I'm not gonna do the good end the good ending first. I haven't seen the other one. Anyway, um we need to gear up. So let's um let's build up the party here. And we're gonna uh, invite Emily, and we're gonna invite Apollo. And there is a reason for that. Uh, and I mean, if it if it's not clear, um, Toby already told us that he's going to be gone for a few days which it is reasonable to um, to conclude from that that he's probably not going to be around for the uh, raid on Vermilion Wasteland. I want to get over there as far as I'm aware, which there's probably like a secret message in that uh, panel over there. It's like, Congratulations, you found a secret path to this place. Now go away. But, um... Yeah, like, as far as I know, there's no real way to get there. You basically have to, like, get over on this ledge. Or this ledge. And jump down there. Otherwise, we can't, we just cannot access this area. So now, we are going to go to Rhombus Square. go to the arena. Oh, we might not do a whole lot of this. Basically my goal is to get to level 60. So that's going to involve maybe a little bit of arena, maybe a little bit of um, booster areas. We'll see what happens. Welcome to the Rhombus Arena Seeker. Seeing as this is your first time here, would you like an introduction? Sure. Start by selecting a, a cup. Each cup shows its name and the trophy you've unlocked. The info page shows a, sh a summary of your progress in cup. Use the help menu for a detailed description of each line. Below you can see how many arena coins you you've obtained. Win coins by clearing rounds in a cup with a high score. By selecting a cup, you can see all the rounds the cup includes. Each round shows its name and the medal you that you've achieved. To unlock a round, clear the previous one. Rush mode will pit you against all rounds with, without stopping and limited healing. To the left you can see a summary of your progress in each round. You can also see what score you need to, to achieve to obtain a silver or gold medal. Uh, press left or right to see uh, the second page which shows bonus points and conditions. Press L1 or R1 to switch between single cups and team cups. A look in the arena. 
So let's team up with our group and try the uh, Rookie Cup here. And these guys are... I think these are our level. Like, whatever level that we are is what level they are. So this will always be balanced in such a way that uh, it'll be a comparable match no matter what level we are. I got silver for that one. Um, but yeah, our score is based on a lot of different factors. And there are some like hidden achievements and things that, uh, that you can get bonus points for. But uh, our big detraction there was we took a fair bit of damage. Afternoon advers adversaries. You can, you can bet that uh, Elemental Overload is a pretty sharp penalty to score. So we do want to make sure not to overload. And we've been doing a pretty good job of that. I think we've overloaded like once all game. Took a lot of damage there. That's a lot of damage! Only got bronze that time. Yeah, I still remember the one stream that I saw where um, the player was kind of just kind of casually overloading and just kind of taking it in stride like that's something that is inevitable that you're always going to end up doing. And it's like, no, you're not supposed to be overloading all the time. When, you're, when your elemental load becomes too high, you gotta turn it off. Because while you're um, recovering from overload, um, there's a fair bit of uh, combat penalty that you get, and you can't switch back to an element until you fully discharge.
Dang it. It's trying to break that one. Oh. I got you. Ah. I uh, should probably eat something. There we go. Bronze for that one, too. Uh, they should be able to do level 3 uh, skills, yeah. I think. get bronze again. Ah. Oh, that was... Ow. Dang. Well, that sucked. Hmm. I guess let's, uh, let's see how well we can do solo. And the difficulty of this encounter will be um, reduced accordingly to the fact that we are doing it by ourselves this time. There's also a little less chaos going around, which will make it a little easier to keep track of everything that's going on. Ah! I did fail at Rookie Jewel. Yes, I'm I'm not the best at combat in this game. Silver, not bad, not bad. And yes, you will notice 
far fewer bunnies this time. Ow. I was trying to block that. I promise. I ran directly into that one. There we go. So this would have been the next encounter if we had not died. Uh, wait, no, we, we did get to here. I don't remember these penguins. Oh yeah, we have that, that uh, equipment buff that lets us uh, continue eating unimpeded. We took so much damage that we got zero points out of that. That's impressive, actually. Oh, come on! I hate that it does that. It's like, you didn't pull it off? Oh, well, you also lose your, uh, your SP for that. Oh, come on now! That's the third time! Hate those goats. Like, they are the worst thing, and now there are two of them. I just can't get past that. I don't know what it is, but just that combination of enemies, I just can't. I've done it before. Then we deal with mini bosses, then we have big bosses, and then we have... Um,
I guess, big mini bosses? I'm not really super sure. Oh, these are, okay, these are um, dungeon enemies. That's what this is. I think these here are, are yeah, they, these are custom cups. Unfortunately, we don't have any right now. But uh, this is why we're doing these. This gear here is some of the best that you can get. You can also get pets. It's pretty neat. Well, let's keep trying, I guess. I also hate that it's so easy to just get knocked out of... Um... No. Like, get knocked out of your specials. Not sure what you mean by that. Also, I keep switching to wave when I'm trying to switch to fire. I forget if that's a thing. You might remember better than I do because my memory sucks. Ah, come on! Really? If, that hurt me for more than I yield. Oh my goodness, I hate this. Also, I'm trying to climb up onto here and... You understand that we will not be doing a whole lot of this. In fact, I don't think we're even going to be touching these two. 
There is also a limit, an upper limit, to how many coins you can get. As you see here, we have 1,200 of a possible 13,500 coins. 200 of a possible 12,000, and so on. So I think the better idea is for us to go to boosted areas, which I realize is probably going to be a little boring to watch. But tomorrow, tomorrow, next, next, uh, next this day, you know, did I get the fall booster? Got the trail booster. Next Tuesday, that's what I'm trying to say and failing miserably. Um, will be an exciting time. Because that's going to be an ending or bust stream. We are going to get to the end of, um, let's say, regulation cross code content before moving on to the DLC. Uh, we should be able to do both endings, yeah. Because, um,. I will, I will say this about, what level are you, 59, oof. I will say this about the ending, um, once you've cleared the final area, um, it will give you an option to skip the final area and the final boss again, so you don't have to do it again. But basically, we'll do one ending, and then we'll just kind of do the trigger that leads to the good ending, and then go directly to that. <sighs> Asshole. No! Mm. So it looks like we get diamonds from here. Yeah, I, I do kind of find it interesting, like this whole um, boosted area thing. Like instead of um, making you uh, like do the arena or something, or just do as well as you can on uh, in Sapphire Ridge. Uh, instead, you can just buy a booster and boost previous areas. Well, gives you a little diversity, gives you a little something to fight for because you get like the diamonds and stuff that you can use to get better gear. And you also get like higher level enemies that you wouldn't that you would not have been able to get um, just playing the game normally.
At the same time, it doesn't really affect... Um, like, if you think about it, like, in an in-world sense, it doesn't really affect other players that are also playing. Because the enemies are technically only boosted when you aggro them. So for the most part, it's not going to really bother um, other players that want a lower level experience. Okay. Throwing of those boosted enemies does good damage. Yeah, I'm... You mean like, throwing VRPs? Because... I'm kind of bad when it comes to some of the mechanics. Also trying to keep my rank here. Doesn't that get you pumped up? So we are ready to level up. Uh, basically, the higher your rank, the better item drops you get. So now that we're at rank S, for as long as we don't disengage combat or let it expire, um, we have a much higher chance of getting um, items that have a, you know, items that have a higher rarity. I cannot see you there, like. Get out of there. That's what I'm supposed to do with you. I'm supposed to throw to break. I did do the guard. Well, 
battle disengaged, so let's take a second and recover. Again, we are ready to level up. It is kind of interesting, like, when, when you consider the fact that we are technically running within the, the grounds of an MMO. Oh, we just barely kept that. But yeah, we, we are running within an MMO. But at the same time, we have this whole subplot of, well, technically main plot of Leah being, you know, trying to figure out what's going on with Leah and at this point trying to, liber to liberate the Evo Tars. Uh, and yet, they still find a way to incorporate the fact that Oh yeah, we need to be like level 60 for uh, Vermilion Wasteland without really making it super shoehorned in. So now we are at level 56. Doing pretty good. Uh, how's our money? 98,000. So we have enough to, to buy another, um... Uh, we have enough to buy another booster if we have the materials for it. See, I even did the perfect guard. You saw that. I got the P. But yeah, after um Let's get to like level 57 and then uh, see about uh, getting the booster for Maroon Valley.
Uh, there is no level three base attack. No, none of the uh, none of the four combat skills have a uh, level three neutral attack. At least not that I remember. Like I'm ninety nine percent sure that they don't. We can double check the uh, the circuit boards after uh, after we've lost combat here. Dang it! And yeah, I kind of quartered myself there. Oops. Yeah, if you look here, so. We get our level 1 here, we get our level 2 here, and then there's nothing. We can't get a level 3. And we are ready for another level up. I kind of like the the attention to detail as far as the attacks because, like you you can see that Apollo, but it, it also seems to be customizable to some degree because Apollo has the same attacks as I do because we are both spearmancers. But he seems to call them different things. Oh yeah, thanks for knocking me directly into the water, you lousy. Again? Really? Well, that was exciting. This 
great when I am eating a sandwich and then I lose more health than I gain from the sandwich. Seems like a pretty good place to to uh, farm, actually. Things are respawning pretty quickly in this area. Toby, stop doing that. Toby, what are you doing? Why are you jumping continuously into the water? Don't do that. That's not good for your health. Actually, no. He did Tesla Twist there, and that is definitely a move that, uh, that Leah has. See? Oh, te Tesla Waltz, actually. Well, guess I'll fight you again. I'm not entirely sure if they do have um, level 3 attacks. I mean, I would think that they do. I'm not sure if I've noticed them doing them anymore. Doing anything. We actually gained two levels out of that. Which is what I was hoping to do. Um, yeah, so let's go back to from the square. Let's see if we can get any gear. I'm going to be from here. I forget where you go to buy gear. <laughs> Maybe it is here actually? Upstairs? No, this is just all items. Mostly food.
Actually, maybe it is here. Yeah, there we go. So we can get level 61 gear, we can get level 62, 62, 66, and up. Oh. The artillery boots are the things that are the thing that I was trying to get from um, from repeating that uh, tower defense quest because you get the trench boots, then you get a bunch of turret tokens, and then you come here and you can upgrade them into the artillery boots. Oh, we have it. We have. Oh, this is made out of two weapons. The Disciple Gloves and the Adept Gloves. Combine them with six Citrine and Garnet and you get the Meister Gloves. And we don't have the Blue Fiber Robe. So we, if we have the Chest Link, which I don't know where to get that, then we get the Plate of Chests. Oh, <laughs> chest link is right here. So we need three more maroon chestnut and five lapis lazuli. And also lapis lazuli and gourmet steak to get this infinity plus one bag if we wanted to. tokens for all of those. Yeah, what's our lowest level single piece of equipment? Torso. But we need to replace that. And yeah, it's not gonna be with the life fiber uniform anytime soon. Now uh, we can afford this. Which is level 62, which is already a considerable improvement. Three samurai shells, and we can get this reactive plate. The samurai shells come from, like, the bugs in um code samurai shell. HP regen would definitely be a good thing, yeah. But I'm just seeing where you would get samurai shell. So they were dropped by sun beetles. Uh, there is one chest with four of them in Sapphire Ridge Northwest Path. And you can also trade uh, two sticky web, three green arbor, and two catalog pellets, and 2350 credits. Uh, so which one has HP regen? This one. You need emeralds for that, though. So if we're looking to upgrade, we're not going to be able to do that, like, right away with that. Plus it takes the maroon chestnuts that we would need for that chest link. And things to keep in mind here. Like, this is almost in reach. We just need three samurai shells. And there's a chest with four of them. Uh, so northwest. Where was it? 
northwest path. This one here. Let's mark this as no chests. What's your deal? Hi! Oh, hey there, Spheromancer. Did you see our post on the quest board? Sure. Oh, finally, thank goodness. Oh, yeah, I'm Paula Doctor, by the way. Leah. Nice to meet you, Leah. Okay, out of business. On behalf of the Last Minute Heroes Guild, we eagerly welcome your punctuality and willingness to join our cause and serve your fellow player. Never heard of us all? Huh? Oh well. In any case, we're in a tight spot and we're looking for some extra help. It'll mostly involve fighting a few monsters here in Sapphire Ridge. What do you say? Sure. Yay, thank you so much! Let's go meet up with our guild leader. He likes to meet everyone personally. He's over at the last minute hero headquarters in Autumn's Rise. I'll go on ahead. See you soon! Bye! Uh, so yeah. We're not going there immediately. Because there's a chest in this area we need to find. There it is. I mean, we're not going to be joining the last minute heroes. Uh, it is of utmost importance that we stay with the first scholars. Oh, that's not the chest that gives us the... Uh, okay. So then we need to fight the sun beetles or... Um, yeah, you're a sun beetle. Or get the, the things in trade. Let's see... Let's see... I'm trying to find the... Um... There we go. Plus have some decent gear here. We're not looking for the gear. We're looking for... Also, I don't know if I catalog these. Ah, oh, samurai shells. There we go. Well, I'm gonna make sure to talk to each and every single one of these people. Just in case I haven't cataloged them. So I guess if we had looked at this, we would have seen um, last minute help needed here. So anyway, now we can go back to Rama Square. And get the reactive plate. Now we're broke. <laughs> but we have this. Would have been nice to get the HP region, but at the same time, I want to see if we can get this play of chests. And so we need this chest link, and so we need. 10 maroon chestnuts. We have seven. And that would have drained all seven. Anyway, um, let's see what Puella wants. And also meet the leader of the guild, which actually found out um, how the leader of the guild ended up getting the spot. Hello. Ah, you must be that Sphere Mancer. 
Paula is waiting, uh, is waiting with our leader in the upper floor. So there was a contest uh, back when uh, Crosscode was in early access. Um, they released the last bit of content that they were going to release before uh, their full 1.0 version, which uh, stopped at the Grand Criscayo and thus the boss at the top. Right here. And that was the one with the monkey and the whale. Uh, and they tasked people to um, like they, they tasked people to basically come up with a very uh, creative way of dealing with this boss. And so the person who won is actually the leader of this guild. And I'm pretty sure that he also um, was one of the main contributors in the um, in the Kickstarter for this as well. So that's also a thing. Anyway, this is Warven. Ah, there she is. Hi. Hi. You must be Leah. Nice to meet you. I'm Warven. I run things around here. And how about you? What attracted you to our quest posting? Not very talkative. Maybe not, but she was very enthusiastic about helping us. Your speech module is busted, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I thought so. I've seen that a couple of times before. Don't worry about it. You won't need to do any talking for this. But anyway, have you heard of the tales of the last minute heroes? Whenever a lone seeker is stuck in a dire situation, whenever a decisive battle goes out of hand, when, just when all hope seems lost, that's when we arrive. The Cavalry of Crossworlds! The ultimate deus ex machina! Saving the day at the very last minute! Yes, that's what we do. Saving players in need at the last minute. That part's very important. That's our niche. And we do it everywhere in the playground at all times. Except on holidays, of course. <laughs> right. Anyway, finding players in need and arriving just in time isn't actually that easy. That's why we employ the, M uh, the L LMRS, our amazing last-minute rescue system. He likes to make it sound super impressive. But really, it's just guild members on the lookout in literally every corner of the playground. Well, that and our highly advanced communication system. That's right, we have access to some additional information. And we use it to deal with nearby guild members, telling them where to do the rescuing. Exactly. And with both of these things combined, the LMRS works flawlessly. Given that we have enough guild members to help us. Unfortunately, we're currently shorthanded. Yeah, everyone's distracted now that the new Laser Bridge Builder has just been released. Yeah, I'm sure that Emily would be very excited about that. Whoa, it has! <laughs> what did I tell you? I... I gotta go for a second. Anyway, that's where you come in, Leah. We currently need more players on the lookout in Sapphire Ridge. And don't worry, we won't ask you to stay put for the whole day or anything. Yes, obviously. Any amount of, con of contribution is appreciated. To start things off, just head back to the cave in at Sapphire Ridge and wait around the landmark. I'll give you a remote, a remote support and tell you via D-Link if anyone's there in need of rescuing. Leah! Um, Twyla! Yay! <laughs> Thanks for helping out, Leah. No, too expensive. I'll wait for a sale. <laughs> I love that attention to detail. Alright, um... So we'll do this quest and then we'll call it a day. Boo! Hi! I see you've arrived at the cave in. I just have to sit tight and wait for the perfect moment. 
Yeah, it's like Warvin says, there's a fine line between being early, late, and right on time. And you don't have to you don't have our finely tuned senses yet, but don't worry. Since you're new, I'll let you know when it's time to move out. And I have a feeling you won't have to wait too long. Thanks again, Leah. Pull our doctor out. So we have to wait? Okay, hopefully not for too long. Um, it's kind of weird that, as far as I'm aware, Wervin is in two games, and we have played both of them, at like, in the same time period. He's in this, and he's also the final boss of Meridus. If we have to wait inside or outside the cave in now. Doesn't really say. Oh, so we have to wait here. Gotcha. Hmm. No surprise to have trouble finding volunteers or this kind of work. There we go. Leah, yeah, it's time! Fellow players in dire need in River Road right to the west. Let's be quick. Time waits for no man or a woman. Leah. But then we immediately dive into the water. River Road. Ah, somebody please help! Hi, Leah! That was kind of distracting. so much for the help. Say, are you with the Lost Minute Heroes? Sure. <laughs> I knew it. You guys are the best. Thanks a bunch. Looks like you saved the day, partner. Nice work. How about it? Still got time to rescue a few more players? Sure. Hmm, that's the spirit. Let's head back to the cave in and wait for my call. from before. Looks like he's in trouble again. Why? Heck if I know. Anyway, he's currently in Northeast Path. Better hurry. Uh, is there a quick way to get there? No. Just run. Um, this was definitely not the right way. I mean, at this point, uh, Leah's kind of been desensitized, at least to these bugs. I remember that, like, the more that we were fighting them, the less she was freaking out about them. And so there's a chest right here. And there is no chest here. And there is no chest here. Why? <laughs> no, 
that was kind of a waste. <laughs> that was close. Again. <laughs> Why? Oh man, I should really try to be more careful, shouldn't I? I'll try. Anyway, thanks again for the rescue. I gotta go. Bye. Jeez, that guy. He just seems to attract trouble. Why? I wish I knew. I guess he's just especially careless. I didn't see his username at first, but I should have known. We've helped him out before, like, a lot. Long story. Wait, what the? Seriously, dude, what are you doing? Same guy again. Apparently he's kiting enemies now. There's way too many of them. Why? Better go help him. He's at Flower Lake. Where is that? Uh, let's go from here, actually. That's that's the impression that I'm getting, Jewel. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why? How? Those are valid questions, Leah. There should not be this many enemies on one map. Fortunately, we're severely overleveled for this area, so... It shouldn't be too much of a worry. Please, why so many bugs again? Can I please have a break? Okay, so she's freaking out a little bit because there's so many of them. Now here's how you make an entrance! The cavalry's here! <sighs> I don't think I've ever seen so many beetles attacking at once. <laughs> you could say that again. Wait, it's you? Yep, thanks again for the rescue. No problem, that was... how many times now? Dunno, I lost count. Seriously, you should... Really be more careful about the kinds of battles you end up in. Make sure to prepare yourself, learn skills, upgrade your equipment. I know, in fact, I just collected the last few items I needed for the gear I always wanted. Finally, I can get rid of that Bakikun stuff. Uh, What? You didn't upgrade your equipment for so long? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Why? I didn't want to waste money and items on equipment that I'd replace later on anyway, see? That, I mean, just how did you even manage to get this far? Well, you helping me out when I was in trouble certainly helped a lot. But like the guy is guarding temple, our soul wins, this is how did you face roll it till you make it, right? Anyway, gotta get my new gear now, see you around. Uh, we're done. Hi. Nice work. That was a lot of samurai bugs, huh? Yes, indeed. Now try and our little tribe leader troublemaker looks happy. Yeah, that guy sure ke keeps us busy. He does, doesn't he? That's why I set up a notification for whenever he logs in. He's been surprisingly quiet today, so I lost track of his movements until like three fights ago. But usually he gets into troubles minutes after he logs in. He's helped me perfect my timing because he's so predictable. 
How many times have you saved him already? Let me check. Hmm. About 340 times now? Now? Yeah, it's about time we stopped saving that one. Why, oh, you think so? He's become way too careless, doesn't prepare for his battles at all. He's relying on our, on our help way too much. We're here to rescue people in need, but people should still learn to fight for themselves. Well, when you're right, you're right. Our first exception. Maybe, maybe I should design a badge. Ooh, someone else needs help, and it's not that guy. I'll take this one. It was great meeting you, Leah. Bye. Well, that sure was something. I think you've helped us more than enough. Thanks a lot. And as promised, here's your reward. Alright, I gotta go. You never know when someone might need our help at exactly the right time. Feel free to drop by the headquarters or anything you like. All right, so um, that was that was something. Last minute heroes to the rescue. Anyway, um, I was going to uh, get the booster from Rune Valley, but um, looks like that's not going to be happening. Uh, so I am going to. Probably have another stream on Friday where I just clear out the rest of the quests. Because there's still a bunch of quests that we haven't done. Um, I think we've pretty much cleared out Guy's Garden at this point, except for like one quest. Uh, there are still the console themed quests that we have uh, we, that we have seen in our last kind of halfway stream last Friday. And um, then there's the quest around Sapphire Ridge, including the one that where we finally get to the end of the whole uh, Henry deal. Um, I think that's about it. Maybe get the rest of the boosters. See if we can get the rest of the chests too. There's still a fair amount of, of like busy work to do in this game before we go on to do the ending, which will probably be uh, next Tuesday. But for now, that is going to be the end of our session. So, uh, I want to thank everyone for watching who was who might have been here. There was only Jewel in chat, but uh, your company is appreciated. Uh, the next scheduled stream, <laughs> yes, you yourself and you. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Code Creator stream, and uh, since we were just speaking about Meredith. I knew exactly what we we're going to be doing tomorrow. Um, we are going to try to sneak in a new artifact. Uh, this is based on uh, feedback from the beta playthrough that I did on the Archipelago server about a week ago. Um, one of the one of the players uh, who was also playing artist uh, said that he would like to see more compasses. Like more compass tiles. And I think it's not a particularly good idea to add more compass tiles, but what if we were to add a portable compass? Where, like, once you get it, you can hold down, say, the C key, and you get a compass wherever you are. So, that is going to be my plan for tomorrow. See if we can sneak that in there in there without breaking everything 
Uh, next stream after that is going to be our next Sunday Super Shuffle stream, uh, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. or later, Atlantic Standard Time, where I do some more Archipelago stuff. I might do another uh, Meredith run for that stream and just kind of see where we're at with that. And that takes us around the week, around the wheel to our next long run stream, where finally we are going to reach the end of the uh, standard content of CrossCode. That doesn't mean that we're going to be done with CrossCode. There is still the DLC to do. It's not very long. It's probably going to take us another, like, two sessions, three at the most. And I already know what we're going to be playing for our next long run after that. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Not gonna give any hints yet. Um, anyway, that's gonna do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.